All right, what up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog. Here to continue with my previews of the Mountain West Conference for the 2015 college football season. For this vlog, I'm here to talk about the Wolfpack of Nevada. Now, Nevada went 7-6 and six last season due to the great efforts by their quarterback, Cody Fajero, who was actually doing everything as far as passing and running the football. He led the team in rushing with over 1,000 yards, but he's actually no longer with the team, which means either Tyler Stewart or Hunter Frelick is going to have to be split in time at quarterback, but I believe that at the beginning of the season, it will be Tyler Stewart's job to lose. He should be the starter and the season opener, but they do have to return of their... Um, second leading rusher in Don Jackson who had 957 yards on the ground and he did average 4.4 yards per carry now that yards per carry is definitely going to have to increase this upcoming season and hopefully he could be that leading rusher for the team and really, um, take some uh, relief off of the quarterbacks um, for this season now as far as the defensive units there's actually two players that I do like in, in that defensive line with Raheem Yates and Ian Seau who actually led the team with 8 and a half sacks last season to go along with 39 tackles. The defense is definitely going to have to step it up this year. They did average allowing 27 points per game. Now, as far as their the top recruits, their top recruit starts off with um, Damian Barber at 5'10", 180 pounds. He is an athlete. I think he can play either receiver or bulk up to become a running back. They did pick up a defensive end at 6'6", 198 pounds. He's definitely going to have to add in more weight in order to become a threat, more of a threat in Corey um, Collins. And lastly, they're one of the best recruits in my opinion. Actually, their best recruit that I'm looking at at six foot two, two hundred and ten pounds, Ricky Thomas at the outside linebacker position. And as a true freshman, that is a good weight that you kind of that you kind of want. And that means that he only doesn't have too much weight to gain. If he probably gains to like two forty, which he can get that to, uh, entering his sophomore season, he could become a good um, threat on the defensive unit for the Wolfpack for the next upcoming season. Now, overall, this year, this is a scare for me, but I think they're going to become bowl eligible. I think they're going to claw their way to become 6-6 six and six overall for the year. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have five more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keenan McCall. Be easy.